Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, thanks for joining me. Today I thought that I would do a little character design in the Procreate app using my sketchbook set and iPad. So I'm going to dive into Procreate now and start off with these sketches that I roughed out earlier. I think it's really important to be kind of loose and rough to begin with and then neaten things up later. But I will be taking inspiration from sketches I've done before, I've played around with the texture and been a bit loose and not too neat with it. I think it's important when you're sketchbooking just to explore ideas and not worry too much about the final outcome or being overly painterly. I also like to use my paper textures when I'm working in Procreate, this just helps things feel more authentic and more natural for me. I do have some free that I will link below but they remind me of working traditionally when I used to use pencils and gouache and things like that and I think it really bridges the gap between the convenience of digital and the playful textures of traditional so I like to try and combine the two digitally of course. So I'm going to lower the opacity of my really rough sketch and as I said I think it's really fun when you're beginning to design characters to be kind of loose with it even just use stick figures and get the characters' emotions and attitudes right and then you can neaten things up, play around with textures and just see what feels right for you. As always, you don't need any specific brushes to achieve a certain look. What's most important with your artwork is the overall feel and the personality that you're bringing through and whether it's authentic to you. So have fun with brushes, have fun with textures, but remember that the substance of your artwork at the end of the day is always so much more important than any one detail that you could get hung up on like colour or texture or line quality. All of these things are just extra flourishes. I really like sketching my characters in kind of dynamic poses or real life poses. I just think it really helps me understand them a little bit better and I just would highly recommend trying sketching your characters in movement or in different poses to get a feel for who they are. I'm just adding some extra grit now with my colour crayon. I love the soft pencil brushes because it felt like something that was really missing from Procreate for me personally. It's a texture that I always really liked when working traditionally and it's something that I really wanted to add but adding that extra grit in there just really helps me kind of balance the two and make things not so neat. I really don't try to make my artwork all so neat but it always ends up a bit too neat anyway. <laughs> I do try and be a bit more loose and playful with it which I think is really great for children's books characters because it just brings a lot more energy to their essence overall. So I've added this fairly strong blush with my ink buildable brush and just lowered the opacity slightly but I love a strong blush personally, it's not for everyone's tastes and I know some publishers really don't like it but I think it's always fun to draw the characters that you want to draw uh, and worry about the marketability a bit later. <laughs> I'm using the same ink brush on the hair just to get the general shape down and again this is just an experiment and this is just for fun so I'm not taking things too seriously or trying to draw in my style necessarily. My digital sketchbook is a place where I can be a bit more expressive and a bit more messy and not everything's going to make it to social media from this and not everything has to be Instagram worthy. I think a lot of the time we can focus so much on getting to the final piece that we forget about the joy of the creativity, of the experimentation, of the getting things wrong. It's half of the journey surely. I add some extra textures into the hair using the shading brush. It's a brush that I'll return to again a few times during this piece and sometimes I'll mix it up and try a few different brushes and then I'll usually set on a few for a certain look. So for this I wanted something kind of that mixed a bit of wet and dry, a bit of pencil and ink this ink buildable brush kind of behaves, at least in my opinion, a bit like Copic markers, something that you can kind of sketch kind of fluidly with, or at least that's how I perceive them. I always try to simplify things and always end up putting way too much texture in, but it's always a lot of fun. <laughs> 
And I think that building up the layers and the textures and figuring out what works best for you is always so much fun. And for here where I made the book, I decided to kind of erase some of the dress underneath and try and see how that would work, a kind of cut out approach. I just think it's really interesting to mess around with the way we normally do things. It keeps things fresh for me at least, it stops me getting bored I suppose. I'm going to add some cute stripes to her tights, stripes are always such a fun way to add a playful bit of detail into an outfit I feel like and it just exemplifies her cheekiness. I don't know what it is about stripes but they're kind of maybe slightly Tim Burton, slightly edgy and therefore look a bit cheeky, I'm not sure. I'm using that same shading brush again for the shadow but I did decide it was slightly harsh there and I did tone it down a bit. Then I added a couple of flowers just to make her feel a bit more grounded and situational and she's pretty much done. I don't know whether I'll go on to use this character for anything, this has mainly just been for fun and, and an experiment for me just to loosen up and approach things in a slightly different way than I normally do. But I hope this has inspired you to embrace playful creativity and to find your authentic voice within your artwork by being a bit messy and not worrying too much about neatness or final projects all the time and take it back to the fun take it back to where it all started you started drawing surely because you love it and that is the main thing anyway i want to thank you all so much for watching and taking the time out of your day i really appreciate it thank you